Hi everyone, it's Katrina. Number 10. Spider in the Tummy In 2014, Dylan Maxwell went on the vacation of a lifetime, but when he returned home, he had a spider in his body. Dylan traveled to the beautiful Indonesian island of Bali, only to have an eight-legged nuisance burrow through a tiny scar and travel into his torso. Dylan, a native of Australia, had the spider inside his stomach for three days before it was surgically removed. Amazingly, the spider left a red trail almost like a burn mark from his belly button to his chest. Being from Australia, I'm sure Dylan has had his fair share of experiences with scary spiders, but he probably didn't expect one to be inside of him. When it first happened, Dylan didn't know what was going on. The pain and the redness made it clear he was dealing with some kind of insect, but when he saw a doctor at a local medical center in Bali, they figured it was just an insect bite. The doctor gave him antihistamine and said that should clear it up, but things didn't go away and Dylan still felt something wasn't right. When he got back to Australia, he still had pain and there was a fierce red line from something making its way up towards his head. Australian doctors ran some tests and looked inside his stomach, and that was where they found the tropical spider. Doctors had to remove the spider from inside Dylan, then they put it into a specimen jar like some kind of alien creature. You know, as a souvenir from Bali. Number 9 impregnated by a squid. An extremely bizarre medical report was released to the public in 2018, detailing a woman who had a squid lay eggs inside of her. According to the medical report, a 63-year-old woman required emergency medical attention after she ate a raw squid and it inseminated her mouth. Her tongue was literally impregnated by eating undercooked squid without removing the proper internal organs. When doctors examined the woman, who was experiencing some strange symptoms, they found 12 tiny bug-like bags of squid reproductive juice in her tongue and gums. These foreign bodies were soon identified to be squid spermatophores from the Japanese flying squid. Doctors say the woman failed to remove the internal organs and then made her problem worse by not properly boiling the animal before eating it. As she slurped the squid in her mouth, the spermatophores found a soft place to embed themselves, her tongue and gums. She didn't manage to eat the entire squid because as soon as her mouth was inseminated, she spat it out. She felt as if a thousand ants had been set loose inside of her jaws and experienced immense pain and a disgusting squirming sensation. That squirming sensation was the bug-like organisms penetrating her oral mucosa. The squids never fully hatched inside her mouth. She went straight to a doctor and had the tiny spermatophores professionally removed. I don't know all of the scientific details, but that is pretty disturbing. What do you think? And now for number eight, but first, I want to give a big shout out to Travis King and Hande Sarapoglu. Thanks so much for watching and supporting Origins Explained. If you are new here, be sure to subscribe and join the family. We'd love to have you. Number 8. Monster Tapeworm Okay, I'm going to try to get through this one without throwing up. A man's tapeworm became internationally famous in 2021 when it was recorded being pulled out of its host's rectum. The tapeworm was 59 feet long making it one of the longest ever pulled out of the human body. Ugh. You might be familiar with tapeworms, but what you might not know is that the human body is home to trillions of microorganisms, many of them found inside our gut. Most of these microorganisms allow our bodies to function properly, but sometimes we get infested with a parasite that works against us. In the case of this 67-year-old man in Thailand, he had a beef tapeworm in his body. It was causing chronic gas and miserable stomach pain. The parasite had infested his lower intestines and was gobbling up all of his food. These kinds of tapeworms can enter the human body when somebody eats beef that hasn't been properly cooked or that's already infected. That's probably how he got his tapeworm. Doctors remove the tapeworm as they would in any ordinary case. 
but this tapeworm kept on coming. By the time the whole thing was removed from his body, doctors were in shock. They think it's the biggest tapeworm that's been found in Thailand in over 50 years. After it was removed, doctors suggested the individual change his eating habits to avoid another one. Have you ever had a parasite or a tapeworm? I hope not, but if so, let us know in the comments. Number 7. Ear Cockroaches In 2022, Zane Wedding got a little more than he bargained for when he went for a leisurely swim. The 40-year-old man from Auckland, New Zealand, took a dip at his local pool only to have a cockroach wiggle into his ear. When he was finished with his swim and toweling off, he thought it strange that his hearing was obstructed in his left ear. He thought he had water stuck in his ear and kept trying to get it out his whole way home. He used some drops and fell asleep on the couch that night, but when he woke up, his ear was still bothering him. He knew by this point that something was wrong and went straight to the doctor. Unfortunately for Zane, the doctor was no help at all. The doctor simply said he had water blocked in his ear and should go home and dry it with a hairdryer. That was exactly what Zane did for the entire weekend. He chewed gum, went for a run, used ear candles, but he just could not get the terrible sensation in his ear to stop. Finally, with the weekend over, he went to an ear, nose, and throat doctor early on Monday. The doctor took one look inside his ear and said, oh my god, I think you have an insect in your ear. The entire weekend, Zane had been blowing on his ear with a hairdryer, essentially cooking the cockroach very slowly inside his eardrum. He didn't have water in his head, he had a cockroach moving around in his skull. The doctor took less than five minutes to get the thing out, and the relief was instant. The trauma, maybe not so much. Also, let that be a lesson to everyone. If you have a bad doctor or something just doesn't feel right, definitely get a second opinion, or maybe even a third. Number 6. Brain Worm in April of 2001, a woman in Arizona was busy recovering from brain surgery. Don Becerra told local news outlets that after six hours of surgery, she was feeling much better than she had been. Don had to get surgery because after she visited Mexico and ate a pork taco three years prior, a worm had gotten into her system. Dawn became sick three weeks after eating the mystery taco. Soon, she started suffering from seizures but doctors couldn't understand what was happening. Then, after extensive testing, they realized she had a parasitic worm inside of her brain. The worm had caused something called neurocysticercosis, or a lesion in her brain. This case could have been fatal. The last thing anybody needs is a worm tearing apart their brain. Doctors at the Mayo Clinic in Arizona believe the Taco Don 8 contained Tania solium, a fairly common parasite in Latin America. In unsanitary conditions, the parasite can transfer to the human body through their food. Don ingested the parasite, it attached itself to her intestinal wall, and it soon developed into a worm. It then had a free-for-all inside her body, swimming through her bloodstream like it was on vacation. It finally reached her brain, where it did some tissue damage before dying and decaying resulting in the surrounding tissue becoming inflamed. To remove the worm, Don had to undergo brain surgery while still awake. It was a traumatic, brutal, and life-changing experience. But Don came out on the other side with a clean bill of health. Not to mention, a newfound respect for proper sanitation. Are you going to eat pork tacos after hearing this story? Let me know in the comments, and be sure to subscribe while you're at it. Number 5. Spider in the Ear in 2019, a woman from Kansas City thought she had water in her ear. Susie Torres told the local news that she was suffering from a waterlogged feeling in her ear that just wouldn't go away. She went to the doctor, and the medical assistant who looked into her ear nearly screamed. Using the light from their instrument, they were able to see something with a whole lot of legs moving around inside her ear. It was a spider. And not just any spider, doctors removed an extremely venomous brown recluse, one of only two venomous arachnids native to the United States. Susie was extremely lucky the spider didn't bite her while making its nest inside her head. Oh my god, I hope this video doesn't give you nightmares. Sorry everyone! Nobody has any idea where the spider came from. Susie was never able to pinpoint exactly when the uncomfortable feeling started, 
and she just figured she had water stuck in her ear from a shower. Nonetheless, the experience has left her traumatized. She's taken to stuffing cotton balls in her ears at night to make sure that spiders don't crawl into her skull anymore. That's a good idea. Number 4. Snail in the Knee A young boy in California got into a bit of an accident at the beach. He got a scrape on his knee, something that isn't normally a big deal. The only issue was that a sea snail somehow got inside of the wound and then grew inside of the child's right knee. It all happened in 2013 to young Paul Franklin, only four years old. He fell down, scraped his knee, and his father cleaned the wound and put a band-aid on it. A couple weeks later, the wound had clearly become infected. It was swollen and red, and Paul's mom was worried he might have a staph infection. They gave their son antibiotics, but there was a huge black bump underneath his skin. Paul's mother thought she might be able to drain the wound, figuring the black bump was some kind of giant pus bubble. Ugh. She squeezed the bump with two fingers, and it popped out from her son's flesh. But she didn't understand because it looked like a small black rock with swirls on it. After she turned it over in her fingers, she realized it was a sea snail. Would you be brave enough to squeeze a wound or would you go to the doctor? Let me know in the comments. The snail must have gotten into Paul's scrape while at the beach, then grew for all those weeks it was stuck inside his body. The preschooler was so thrilled, he kept the snail and even named it Turbo. Number 3 fish in the bladder. It's not unusual in Asia to visit a fish spa, a place where you dunk yourself inside a tank of fish and they clean away all your dead skin. Actually, these fish spas can be found everywhere now. They're pretty popular. Some fish spas are only for your feet, while others might be used for your entire body. In 2011, NBC News reported on a story that had been circulating, but they weren't able to completely confirm. The story was about a man in China who visited one of these fish spas and dumped his body in the tank. While he was being nibbled on by the fish, he felt a sharp pain in the last place he wanted to feel a sharp pain, if you know what I mean. He immediately rushed himself to a clinic, where doctors extracted an eel from his bladder that had somehow wiggled up his urethra. While that terrifying tale was never 100% confirmed, another similar case was. In India, doctors found a leech that had forced its way up a 16-year-old boy's urethra and made its home inside his bladder. The case report says the boy was partially submerged in a rice paddy and then in the following days began suffering from unexplained fevers and the urgent need to urinate. It took two months before the boy's family finally took him to the hospital, where doctors realized he had a leech in his bladder. But don't worry, the doctors removed the leech, and the boy made a full recovery. The same thing happened to a different teenage boy in 2007, also in India. Doctors reported the case of having to remove a small fish from the teenager's bladder. According to the teen, he was cleaning a fish tank and then decided to use the bathroom while still holding one of the fish. The fish somehow wiggled out of his hand, grabbed hold of his boy part, and squirmed up into his bladder. Doctors ultimately decided the boy was lying and that he had put the fish there on purpose, not realizing he would need to get it surgically removed. Have you ever been to a fish spa? Let me know in the comments and be sure to subscribe! Number 2. Brain Maggots in 2017, a homeless woman in India had a maggot infestation in her head. The woman was discovered sitting on the side of the road and crying her eyes out because she was in immense pain. She was discovered in this atrocious state by volunteers with a local charity. We'll try not to get too graphic here because this is pretty disturbing. It was lucky for the woman because when the volunteer workers found her crying on the roadside in Rajasthan, she had maggots burrowed into her skull. The volunteers took the woman, later identified as Preeti Devi, to their organization's shelter. Once there, volunteers picked the maggots out of her skull one by one, cleaned out her wounds, and then cared for Preeti to keep the maggots from returning. You might be wondering how somebody could have maggots falling out of holes in their skull. The answer is that the victim was brutally assaulted six months prior and forced to live on the street. She was never able to seek medical attention, and her wounds were never cleaned. This is absolutely horrific. 
The open wounds attracted flies, which laid their eggs inside the cuts. Within a short period of time, the cuts became gaping wounds with maggots oozing out. If Preeti hadn't been picked up by the volunteers when they found her, she would undoubtedly have died. But ever since she was rescued, her wounds have completely healed. She says that their generous act restored her faith in humanity, and she said she was dying a slow death, and if the angels hadn't spotted her, she would have been dead by now. Preeti has decided to go home and start a new life. Number 1. The Constipation Eel According to the Global Times, a man in China was hospitalized in 2021 after using a live eel to try and cure his constipation. The individual, who remains unnamed for fairly obvious reasons, had a nasty case of the not being able to go to the bathroom. In China, there is an old folk remedy in which you can use an eel inserted inside your body to cure a particularly bad case of constipation. So that's exactly what this man did. He shoved a 7.8-inch eel into his behind in an attempt to cure himself. But instead of relieving the man's medical condition, the eel slithered into his abdomen. You can probably guess where the rest of the story is going. The man had to rush himself to the hospital, though not for about a day. He was too shy to see the doctor, so he rolled around in his house in agony for around 24 hours before giving in. And apparently it was just in time. The doctor who performed the surgery to remove the eel said the man would have died because of the bacteria from the eel spreading in his large intestines. Thanks for watching. Hope you're not too seriously disturbed. Let me know what other stories you'd like to hear about next. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye!